Management of inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, during pregnancy is crucial in order to reduce the chance of complications during pregnancy and birth. In this short video, we'll explain how IBD can affect your pregnancy, how pregnancy can affect your IBD, and what you can expect during pregnancy and labor. The information in this video is general, but all women with IBD are advised to seek individual pre-pregnancy advice from the person who advises on their IBD management as early as possible. This may be their GP, IBD nurse, or gastroenterologist. It's important to remember that they will continue to manage your IBD, but your midwife and obstetrician will also support you throughout your pregnancy. How could my inflammatory bowel disease affect my pregnancy? If IBD is well managed before and during pregnancy, the risks to you and your baby are minimal. Women with IBD, particularly if their IBD is not well managed or they're having a flare, have an increased risk of miscarriage, having their baby early and having a small baby. Because of this, it is important to make sure that your IBD is well managed and that you are well before you try to conceive. It is then important to make sure that your IBD is well managed throughout your pregnancy to minimize risks to your baby. If you do have a flare, particularly with ulcerative colitis, there is a higher risk of a blood clot in the leg or lung. Your specialist team will discuss this with you and ways in which the risk can be reduced. There is a slightly higher rate of caesarean section in women with IBD, but most women do give birth vaginally, including women with stomas. Occasionally, some women with IBD are recommended a caesarean if they have active perianal disease and are offered the option of a caesarean if they have an ileoanal or J pouch. Your midwife and obstetrician will discuss your birth options with you to support you to have a safe and positive birth experience. How could my pregnancy affect my inflammatory bowel disease? You are as likely to experience a flare of your IBD while you are pregnant as while you are not. The frequency of flares does not generally increase during pregnancy. Many women with IBD actually feel very well in pregnancy, possibly due to the natural steroids produced during pregnancy. However, progesterone is also produced during pregnancy, which can lead to constipation in some women. You can discuss any change in symptoms you might experience during pregnancy with your midwife and specialist team. There is an increased risk of an IBD flare in the weeks after delivery, probably as the supply of steroids produced during the pregnancy falls. Your GP or IBD team will continue to support you after you have had your baby. What should I do differently during pregnancy? It's important to continue your IBD medications during pregnancy if your doctor and midwife tell you that it is safe to do so. All pregnant women, or women who are trying to become pregnant, are advised to take 400 micrograms of folic acid daily. But for women taking sulfasalazine to manage their IBD, this dose needs to be increased to 5 milligrams. This higher dose is only available on prescription, so you should speak to your GP. This should be taken from three months before pregnancy and throughout pregnancy. Like all pregnant women, you should try to eat a healthy diet, but this is more important if you have IBD. Your midwife can provide you with more information and support you in making healthy lifestyle choices throughout your pregnancy. What should I do about my medications? The majority of medications used to treat IBD are safe in pregnancy, and with many medications, the benefit to your health outweighs any risks to your baby. However, there are some medications which may harm your baby, and these are methotrexate and mycophenolate mofetil. You should discuss your plans for pregnancy with your GP or gastroenterologist as early as possible, and they can support you with safely making changes to your medications. Some medications known as biologics are quite new, and so there's only limited information about their use during pregnancy. 
In many cases, the benefits to your health outweigh any possible harm to your baby. It is crucial that you discuss your plans for pregnancy with your GP or gastroenterologist as soon as possible if you are taking these medications. Biologics are not thought to cross the placenta in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy, so there is no concern about safety at this stage. If you are well, it's preferable to stop biologic medication at 28 weeks, but if you are not well, you will likely be advised to continue taking the medications because the risk of complications is higher if you stop rather than continue. For women who continue to take biologic medication after 28 weeks, the rotavirus and BCG vaccinations for your baby should be avoided until they are six months of age. Many of the medications used for IBD may affect your immune system. This means that you're at slightly higher risk of infection, and this must be noted in your maternity notes so that medical staff can give you antibiotics promptly if a bacterial infection of any kind is suspected. There are a large number of different medications for IBD, so you should ask the person who advises you on your IBD about which ones are safe to continue to take and which ones would be preferable to stop. They will support you to make the safest decisions for you and your baby. What should I expect during my pregnancy? You'll be looked after in pregnancy by midwives, your GP, IBD nurse or gastroenterologist and a consultant obstetrician. The consultant will see you in early pregnancy and discuss your risks and medications and make a plan with you for your care. Many women are offered iron tablets during pregnancy in some women with IBD, iron can cause a flare, so if you are asked to take iron, you should only take a maximum of one tablet a day and stop it if you think it is affecting your IBD. Most of the IBD medications that are taken in pregnancy are also safe while breastfeeding and your obstetrician will discuss this with you. The management of any IBD flare will likely be the same as when you are non-pregnant. If you think you are experiencing a flare, you should contact your midwife and a specialist team immediately. When should I seek help? If you think that you are having a flare or are concerned about your IBD or medications, you should contact the medical professional who is looking after your IBD. This may be your GP, IBD nurse or consultant gastroenterologist. If you have concerns about your pregnancy, you should contact your midwife or the maternity unit where you are booked to have the baby. And if you feel unwell, generally you should call 111. To recap, you should discuss your plans for pregnancy with your GP or IBD specialist as early as possible. Management of IBD during pregnancy is crucial to reduce the chances of complications during pregnancy and birth. If IBD is well managed before and during pregnancy, the chances of complications are very small. It's important to take your IBD medications during pregnancy as advised by your GP or specialist team and to contact them if you have any changes in symptoms. If you are ever worried or have any questions or concerns, contact your midwife. Thank you for watching. This educational video was created by the Southwest Maternal Medicine Network.